I'm Tracy Banks doing the Times Herald Record Newsroom with this uh, News Watch update. Tomorrow is decision day when a number of area important political races will be decided. Uh, Times Herald Record reporter Chris McKenna will be following many of them, including the rematch between Democrat incumbent Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney and Republican former Congresswoman Nan Hayworth. Uh, Chris, uh, if you take any stock in the polls, this one uh, could go down to the wire. Uh, safe bet today that the uh, respective campaigns have been rather busy today. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Um, uh, the two uh, New York's two senators were campaigning with um, with Sean Maloney in Orange County today, um, Chuck Schumer and uh, Kirsten Gillibrand. Um, so they're both furiously getting out the vote, which is going to be critical tomorrow. The um, most recent poll for this race had um, uh, Congressman Maloney ahead by five points. So this could go either direction. Voters that uh, will vote on other party lines other than uh, GOP and Democrat uh, could have a strong say in this uh, tomorrow? Uh, absolutely. Independent voters, that's, that's who they're both chasing. Okay. Anything surprise you at all uh, now that we've uh, reached the finish line with this respective uh, campaign? Uh, well, no. It's, it, the, the race was close the first time they polled it. Um, and it was a close race when they when they ran two years ago. There there hasn't been um, much that has been surprising about this race. A lot of the themes that um, that they both of the campaigns have are uh, similar or identical uh, to what they were saying two years ago. This this year is a different there are different voting dynamics this year. It's not a presidential voting year. So that tends to favor Republicans uh, in terms of uh, turnout. So the um, uh, the difference uh, this year, and I'm not saying the outcome will be any different, but there, there's, there is a different voting dynamic uh, this year that, that uh, could affect the outcome. What are a couple of the other area races uh, that uh, are really worth watching, that could be surprising or uh, important? Well, there's a, there's a state senate race. Um, Cecilia, Cecilia Kaczyk, who, uh, who was elected two years ago, uh, in a very close race against George Amador, who, is a, who was a Republican assemblyman, uh, they, he is, uh, uh, George Amador is running against her again and is uh, polling uh, well ahead of her. Uh, the most recent poll had, uh, had him ahead by 11 points. Um, and that is uh, uh, important because it's part of this ongoing battle between Republicans and Democrats for control of the Senate. And uh, every race is being watched closely, and that, that one looks as though it could go in the Republicans' favor. Any incumbent in the area, other than you know, possibly uh, Maloney here, any incumbent in, in some danger in our region that you know of? Uh, well, there are, there are five assembly races, um, five contested uh, assembly races. There's no polling for those races. It's hard to tell yeah, right. which which way any of those are going to go. Uh, there is a second contested uh, Senate race. Uh, Bill Larkin is running for re-election. He's being challenged by a Newburgh Councilwoman, Gay Lee. Uh, there hasn't been any any polling in that race. Um, I, I suspect that given given his long incumbency and uh, and uh, superior resources. Um, Senator Larkin is likely to be reelected. All right, and uh, back to uh, Hayworth and Maloney. That uh, figures to be a very long night before somebody is uh, declared. I would imagine. Well, there are four counties in the district, so you got to wait for every each board of elections, um, board of elections to um, uh, to post its results and uh, and and see how they add up. So yes, that could go late into the night. All right, thank you, Chris. And uh, should be a very interesting evening tomorrow. Thank it you. It should. With this Record News Watch update, I'm Tracy Baxter.